This is the first video looking at the Chemistry of Life unit, the first section on biochemistry and enzymes. On your diagrams page, the first topic is macromolecules. We looked at four macromolecules. These molecules could be organized into monomers, which are a single subunit, dimers, which are two of the subunit put together, and polymer, poly meaning many, so it was two or more of those subunits put together. Some of our macromolecules, carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are used for energy. They are a primary source in biological systems. An example of carbohydrates is glucose. Glucose is a monomer, but in carbohydrates, the suffix is saccharide. Glucose is a monosaccharide. Look up di and polysaccharides, especially if you made a biochemistry mind map to see different kinds of saccharides in the carbohydrates. Carbohydrates have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen in them. Another macromolecule is lipids. Lipids also have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, but they have way more hydrogen than carbohydrates. An example of a lipid is phospholipids. Phospholipids are in cell membranes. Other lipids, classifications that we looked at, were triglycerides or animal fats. This section we looked at saturated and unsaturated fatty acids. Fatty acids involve long hydrogen tails. The carbon can be connected by single or double bonds. Others, waxes, and steroids. Check your biochemistry mind map for examples of those. The third macromolecule investigated was proteins. Proteins also have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, but what separates them from lipids and carbohydrates is they also have nitrogen. Proteins are long sequences of amino acids. Amino acids are the monomers of proteins. What makes a protein special is that proteins can be folded and produce a unique shape. These shapes include alpha helices and beta pleated sheets. This is an example of a secondary structure of a protein. One of the functions of a protein was to behave as an enzyme. An enzyme is a quaternary structure, globular protein. There are 20 different kinds of amino acids, but that can produce a number of different kinds of proteins. The last macromolecule was nucleic acids. Nucleic acids include DNA and RNA, and these are molecules at the cellular level that give instructions for and bring the instructions to code for proteins. They tell us which amino acid comes next. That's the macromolecule section of biochemistry and enzymes in the chemistry of life.